what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about halloween ends this video here again today going over this alleged original ending that we almost got revolving around allison nelson and the character of laurie strode and something that would not have been as satisfying of a conclusion to her arc as the ending that we ultimately got so in the ending that we ultimately got we know that after the kitchen brawl the body of michael myers was taken on top of the hood of a car or not the hood of a car but something involving yeah putting him on top of the car they strapped him down on top of the car and the whole town of Haddonfield came together in this procession took him to the junkyard where Corey Cunningham's character worked at threw him in the wood chipper and the body was just destroyed now Michael of course had, had already died prior to this in the kitchen I believe after Laurie had slit his throat but that is how the movie ended its story of Michael and Laurie Laurie got the last word she had finished out the movie with us like a scene i think of us seeing michael's mask on her desk and then i don't think that was the last frame but the very last thing we saw of michael in some capacity was a frame of her office michael's mask is on on the desk and she's saying that evil never evil never disappears it just changes shape or something like that however according to we watched a movie and what they had put out in the video just now, the original ending could have been a lot more different. It probably would have made this movie a lot more divisive than it already is because it's an ending that is a callback in a lot of ways to Halloween 4. But in this instance, we would have not have gotten a follow up to that because I know they probably would not have explored something like this in full. And I'm curious to see if they actually shot this because I'm curious about this only because there is an image of Allison actually knocking on Lori's door and I believe it is taking place after Michael's body has been destroyed the next day but we don't see anything like that really happen in the movie so apparently the original ending for Halloween ends potentially almost included Michael Myers after the kitchen brawl between him and him and Lori after his body is destroyed the body or not destroyed but after the kitchen brawl his body is taken to a funeral home and they burned his body alive inside of the funeral home with the mask still on him and i guess during this exchange lori would have kept looking at the shape and while looking at the shape that essence of evil that has been hyped up throughout the last two movies and most specifically i would say and that talk of evil passing on the evil within michael myers would have just passed on to the character of Laurie Strode. So then the next day after that funeral home instance where they destroyed Michael's body and burned him down to the ground, the next day, Allison would have came over. She would have came to visit Laurie, knocked on the door. Allison or Laurie answers the door. Allison comes inside. And in a shocking turn of events, she would try to strangle Allison. She would try to strangle Allison. I'm guessing somewhere during this exchange between the two allison manages to let get get loose from Lori's grasp and then Lori would tell allison get out of here while you still can and i guess in reference to the fact they get out of here while she still has some control over her control over her body because she is losing control in the same way michael lost control of his body because he's never been in control it was just that essence of evil so then the movie would end with Lori just being presumably the new michael myers but that of course would never be explored because it wasn't going to get a follow-up halloween ends we know was their definitive end for what they have done the reason why i am glad this did not happen if true is because again you already had a lot of people going into this movie looking for that satisfying conclusion to Lori Strode's arc these are people who like me grew up for the longest period of time with the last thought of Lori Strode being her dying in one of the original timelines at the opening of Halloween Resurrection she didn't really get that happy ending that a lot of people think the character deserved and had earned over over the time and course of this franchise so to see something like that now happen yes it is better than her ending in resurrection but it also raises a lot of questions while still leaving her arc kind of op open and not fully complete since you've decided to now pass the evil on to her i don't think that would have gone over well and i'm glad they did not go with that i am still curious to know if if true if they shot this ending i'm guessing we'll find out along the along the road down the coming months especially as we near the home media release or just any other new interviews that come out over the course of these next couple of years even if we don't find out in the coming months but that allegedly is what the original opening was or not opening but ending laurie stroll would have basically inherited michael's evil which again is like a 
big nod to the ending of Halloween 4 with Jamie Lloyd, which I think a lot of people who are big Jamie Lloyd fans would find a problem with that ending because then that would give them an argument of, well, why didn't you just bring back the Thorn timeline? Why didn't you just bring back Danielle Harris? Why are you passing it on, passing that concept on to Lori? And then not only that, you're passing it on to Lori in the final installment of a trilogy you don't even plan to revisit. So I'm glad they didn't do it. Uh, if you guys think that this would have gone over well on screen, you can let me know down in the comment section below. I personally just think that the ending we got, while it was pretty anticlimactic in a lot of ways, it still was a satisfying end to the arc of Lori Strode and that rivalry that she had going on with Michael Myers. And I know if you listen to my spoiler free review, I still am in agreement with what I've already stated. While it was satisfying, that's, that whole thing still had a lot of issues in terms of the fact Michael and Lori still had no real conflict. They again are fighting off a pure coincidence, convenience, and because there again was a bridge between the two that ultimately brought them together one final time and like, oh, okay, I guess it's time to end the movie, so let's give them what we had kept marketing, which was a final battle. A final battle which in and of itself is not rooted in anything. It's like how, for those, those WWE fans out there who know I'm a fan of WWE, it's like how Vince McMahon would probably book this. You have a, a makeshift match thrown together. In this case, that makeshift match is Michael and Lori, but you have no feud between them that's been established. So then in a lot of ways, their final encounter can be anticlimactic. Also, a lot of people are not in favor of how Michael is so easily defeated in the kitchen. I'm not in favor of just how we had already seen him in so many vulnerable positions prior to this. The vulnerable positions in the kitchen are justified in the case of the fact that he was going to die. Everything prior to that, though, we had already seen, so it made the vulnerable positions in the kitchen a lot more impactful to me. But Halloween Ends was still a very serviceable, solid entry in this franchise. Anyone going out of the way also to just say that this movie is worse than Jeepers Creepers Reborn, you need to go rewatch that movie um, and probably just also rewatch a few other movies. There's nothing about this movie that is worse than what we got in Jeepers Creepers Reborn. We need to stop exaggerating there. I am aware of everybody's entitled to their opinion. My opinion on that opinion is that you are ridiculous. <laughs> but let me know again what you guys thought about this original ending that they almost went with down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.